What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Juan from the Max and Juan cast. We over here on a Thursday night with my dear friend right here. I'll go ahead and introduce yourself, my brother. What's up, everybody? It's Max. You want to get into these all pro teams? Let's do it. So let me just clarify something for, for the audience. This is not our predictions on who they're going to pick. These are our all pro teams. We made a first team and a second team. Okay. We obviously got one quarterback, one running back, two receivers, one tight end, two tackles, two guards, a center, and a flex. And the flex can either be a running back, a tight end, or a receiver. Okay? You want to explain the defense, Max? For the defense, we have two edge rushers. We have two interior defensive linemen. Because as people don't know, or maybe they do know, in the NFL... Some ends are different than other ends. In a 3-4, the ends play more like defensive tackles, just to put it in layman's terms. Yeah, just for an example, T.J. Watt is labeled as an outside linebacker. We're going to put him as an edge defender. He's not going to be considered a linebacker. Our linebackers are going to be primarily 4-3 guys who play pass coverage more. They're not an outside linebacker as far as rushing the passer. Yeah, more more inside linebacker guys. So we're going to have two of those. Two corners, two safeties, one defensive back. Can be either be a corner or safety. And then we have a kicker, yeah. a punter, <laughs> one return guy. And then we have one just general manager. Just not really a all pro, but just our favorite general manager of the year. Let's just start off, Max. Let's go back and forth with this, okay? I, I feel like we, we should do it that way. Let's start off first. Quarterback one, first team, Aaron Rodgers. I have Patrick Mahomes. Why? Now, you're going to say why. Exactly. There you go. Will Chamberlain was first team All-NBA center. Bill Russell was second team, and he won the MVP. Patrick Mahomes, he didn't have the touchdowns that Rodgers had, but he had the most passing yards before he sat out. I know Deshaun Watson ended up with more. He ended up with like 100 more than Patrick Mahomes. He didn't play one week. That's like Carmelo winning a scoring title when KD didn't play the last game of the year. Patrick Mahomes gave it to Deshaun Watson. So I'm putting Patrick Mahomes there just because of, the, of all the passing yards and just the team record. Aaron Rodgers is still my MVP. Uh, that's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. I'm not, I'm not putting any, a, a little bit of team success, yeah, but I try to take out as much as team success as possible. I'm just basing it off the player and the year that they had. Well, I'm saying that that is that's usually a small factor in my thing too, team success. I just thought with all the stats he had, plus like ten percent team success, let's just give him first team and they'll put Rogers as second team. Okay. But okay, let's go to running back. I'd be shocked if this was different. Yeah. It's Smoke Henry. Yeah, we both got Derrick Henry. Any two thousand yards. Yeah. Two thousand yards. That's all we gotta say. <laughs> okay. Receivers. I got Diggs and Devontae Adams. No no debates here. I got the same exact receivers, Adams and Diggs. Devontae Adams missed two games and had 18 touchdowns. He could have made a run at the record if he played all 16. That's crazy. Diggs, he transformed Buffalo's offense. He led the league in catches and receiving yards. He basically made Josh Allen an MVP candidate. Not all him, but I'm just saying he was a big part of it. Yeah, I don't think there's no debates. You'll see you'll see basically in our second team who was the guys behind these guys. So uh, I'm guessing tight end is the same for you. I got Kelsey. Yeah, Travis Kelsey. It wasn't even tough. Wasn't there close. Was no one who made it. I love Darren yeah. Waller, but it's not even close, bro. Not even close. Who'd you have for flex? I had Tyreek Hill. I feel like it's insane not to not to put him in an first team all pro. I had Alvin Kamara. I had Alvin Kamara. I just thought with everything the Saints dealt with, he was a big part of keeping them afloat. And he had a hell of a year. I know he didn't rush for a thousand yards, but man, he had what, like 700, 800 receiving yards, yeah. bunch of touchdowns. He's just so integral for the Saints. That's why I put him in first team. I put Tyree kill just because anytime he touches the ball, he it's, you have so much fear that he's going to score. He's the fastest player in the NFL. 
He's a great receiver. He's you can hand him off the ball. You can throw him the ball. It doesn't matter. He's he's a big part of why Patrick Mahomes is so great and makes him a big threat. Tyree kills a cheat code. We we've been saying. Can this. I just say he was he was the guy I was arguing with. It wasn't like I didn't consider him. It was him or Kamara okay. for me. Yeah, I just I couldn't imagine a guy that dangerous being left off the first team, especially the year that he had and especially the games that he had this year. It's it, the guy is ridiculous. I could not see myself not having him a first team all pro. Can you edit into the podcast the clip in Creed where Michael B. Jordan's like, I'm dangerous right after you said <laughs> that about Tyree Kill? Oh my goodness. Do you want to go to the tran- uh do you want to transition to the trenches? So who's who's your first um tackle? I got Bakhtiari. And it's such a damn tragedy what happened to him. Tore his ACL in practice week 17. I love that pick. I like Bakhtiari too. I do have him on here, but surprisingly, I do not have him as first team. Okay? He's on here. How? But how? I well, Give me the guy. Give me the I guy got first. Trent Williams. Trent Williams is by far the best left tackle in the league. You're no, you know you're a Raider fan, right? I understand this, and that just goes to show you I'm not being biased here. Is it because the Raiders aren't in the Bay anymore or what? <laughs> no, Trent Williams has came back in a big way. A lot of people wrote this guy off with the whole uh, Redskins at the time situation and how they traded him and blah, blah, blah. He was asking for a trade, whatever the case is. Look, the guy has stayed in shape, and he's been balling. He's the best left tackle in the league by far. Run blocking wise, pass blocking wise, he's the full package. I get that. I get the argument right there. My second tackle was Mitchell Schwartz. I thought he did a great job keeping Patrick Mahomes safe and out of trouble. And he's the best player on their O-line. This isn't like the old NFL. You need two great tackles, and Mitchell Schwartz is the best tackle on the Chiefs. Eric Fisher's not that good. I don't know how he's fooled people into thinking he's amazing or something. But I pick Schwartz. That's that's been my guy for a long time. I'm not trying to be biased, but I just like Mitchell you Schwartz. You have loved yourself some Mitchell Schwartz. I All right, Trent Brown coming up. What do you got? <laughs> no, I do I don't have Trent Brown. Where's your Raiders? I have Ryan Ramchick. The he's a tackle for the oh, New Orleans yeah. Saints. You love you some Ryan Ramchick. <laughs> Look, he's had an amazing year, man. He's been shutting down a lot of guys. I think he's better than the than the tackle on the other side in Teron Armstead. That whole line for the, for the Saints has had a really well. Good what game. happened? He was so good. He was so good when you were talking <laughs> about him just a few minutes ago. Now he's not even the best tackle on his team. No, he's not. Ryan Ramchick is better than him. I agree. I agree. I'm just giving you shit. Yeah, but so well, let's go to the interior line. I mean, Quentin Nelson, right? Yeah, I Isn't I would said? you would argue that he's the best lineman in the league. I have no issue making that case, especially with the way NFL teams prioritize interior rushers. Look, I wouldn't want to leave anyone on an island with Aaron Donald. I would leave Quentin Nelson. I have more faith in Quentin Nelson than anyone else on Aaron Donald. One on one. Yeah, and the guy is super competitive. He. He's he got that mean streak yeah, he, in him. He has he got that streak. fighting he, Irish nasty. He has a true love for the game. Just his mic, his mic up is so hilarious. You can tell he loves the game. But he has he has a little bit of versatility. That that game against the Raiders, uh, Costanzo got hurt and they just sl- slid him over to left tackle. And I thought he he was holding his own. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised Didn't if later on in his, in, in his career he plays left tackle. Hasn't he caught a touchdown before? Or maybe it was like nullified by penalty and he did like the beer stand <laughs> celebration or something? Yeah. Who's your other guard? I got Ollie Marpet. Ooh, that's a good one. I was struggling with him and Batonio, and I went with Joel Batonio I, from the yeah. Cleveland Browns. I don't have no problem with that. But, I love Batonio too. Let's be real. Most of these guards and centers and tackles never get the shine they're going to get. So I feel like when they make an all pro team, you got to give them love. Oh, yeah. Because there's no like award for them, like nobody really cares, and it's just the way it is. It sucks to be a tackle. It's like the most unthankful, important job, man. <laughs> so, who's your center? 
Corey Lindsley for the Packers. That O line was great this year. And dude, center's thin, man. Yeah, center. I'm gonna be honest. Center is thin. There was a guy. A lot of like the Pro Bowl was so stupid. Like they had a guy like like Pouncy in there. Yeah, Pouncy as far as pass blocking wise, but come on, dude, to, to be a Pro Bowler or even an All Pro, you gotta you gotta be balanced. And he was just not that good run blocking this year. And yeah, maybe you can say their running backs are unexplosive and all that, but. At the end of the day, if you, if you have a good offensive line, especially when you got a guy like DeCastro by you, you shouldn't be 32nd in the league. So I went with Corey Lindsley no, also. I didn't even consider Pouncey. Yeah, I, I went with Corey Lindsley also. I do agree with you. It's, re- it very, it's very thin. But the Packers offensive line in general, I got a lot on, on here for, for their team. They, they were great this year. They were a big reason why Rodgers and Adams was just amazing this year. Shoot. And they even ran the ball. Like they were a, a versatile offensive line. And w- they pass blocked and ran blocked good. Yeah. So that's our that's our first team offense. Let's move over to the defensive side. I'm gonna start it off. My first edge, TJ Watt. N- no arguments no here. No way. Not him. What about JJ Watt? No, stop. He's so he's so notable. <laughs> More like no team all pro. Like he. Terrible. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. I'm with you. TJ Watt, I had him. Who's your second edge guy? Uh, Miles Garrett. Wow. You picked Garrett too? Nice. I picked Garrett also, man. I feel like he would have been even more of a lock if he didn't get COVID. Yeah. And let's just go three for three right here because I'm guessing I know your next pick, Aaron Donald. Best. Oh, yeah. He's a lock. lock. As every year he plays, he's going to make yeah, it. Yeah, I feel he's sorry. He's gonna make I feel it. sorry for all the defensive tackles in the league because you know Aaron Donald, if he doesn't get hurt, he's going to make an all pro. They're probably like this asshole, man. <laughs> how many more times? Yeah, enough said about Aaron Donald. We all know how great he is. Who's your second interior? I think this might be surprising because he didn't even make the Pro Bowl, but that's, like, one of the best things to know, like, someone deserves an All-Pro, that they make the All-Pro team, like Evan Mathis, Eagle. Going with DeForest Buckner, Colts defensive tackle. I couldn't agree with you more. I got DeForest Buckner also. You picked him? Yeah, I got the same thing. Damn, man, where's where's the hot (laughs) takes we're supposed to be having right now? Yeah, I got the same thing, and I couldn't agree with you more with the whole Pro Bowl situation. It's it's so embarrassing that the league doesn't have a guy like that making it to the Pro Bowl. He definitely deserves it. If you make an all-pro team, you should just immediately go to the Pro Bowl. That should be a (laughs) rule. I know, right? All right, in t- uh, my first linebacker, I'm going to go to linebacker. It's Fred Warner. I'm pretty sure you have him. Fred Warner. He was amazing all year. Yeah. And I'm not going to really spend too much time on him. Let's just put it like this. I don't think it's close. Mm, it's close between him and maybe two other guys. But with his explosiveness and how young he is, it's going to be tough to see someone taking over for he, him. He's great. As best linebacker in football. Yeah, he's great. He's the best linebacker in football. I didn't say that in the beginning of the year. I still held on to Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner still had a great year, but I think Fred Warner's just on a whole different level as far as his just his athleticism, his pass coverage, his he's good against the run. Plus he's young. He's gonna get a new contract this year. He's gonna get paid a lot. He's the best he's linebacker. Get in the that league. bag. That big bag. Yeah. Who who's your next Did guy? You have Bobby Wagner? I have Bobby Wagner. Wow. Okay. Who'd you have? I had Darius Leonard. He was my next guy up, and I probably should have put him, but I just maybe it's just the last six weeks of Seattle's defense that kind of made me think different. I just think he's the model of consistency. Yeah, this this year was probably the worst I've seen him play. He he's really fell off in, as far as pass coverage. He's still a monster against the run. He's he's the absolute leader of that defense ever since he's got drafted. A lot of guys have left Sherman, Camp Chancellor, Earl Thomas. All those guys are gone. There's one guy that still stays consistent and and is on that defense and is still the leader, and that's Bobby Wagner. Uh, I I I don't blame you at all for putting him there, but in my opinion, Darius Leonard just had a a lot better just year wise and stats and made a lot of big plays for the Colts. He he's the big leader on that defense. I want to just say 
like Tyree Kill. I struggled to put Bobby Wagner. I just thought DeForest Buckner deserved it, and I wanted just to reward Bobby Wagner. I want to reward Bobby Wagner a little bit more than Darius Leonard. But let's go on. You want to go to cornerbacks? I mean, I feel like this one's pretty easy. Yeah, Jalen. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey, man. And people are going to say, well, he didn't have any interceptions. He didn't have any production. Well, they didn't throw the ball. Exactly. In. That's all you need to know. No one threw it. Look, I love Xavier Howard. I I still think he's good, but a big reason with the two guys that I I believe uh, I know Max pretty good. He probably has Jahir Alexander and Jalen, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, those those two guys. Yeah, they may not have all the interceptions as, as a guy like Xavier Howard, but it's just like Max said. Guys don't throw to that side. It reminds me of the Richard Sherman days when he was dominant it doesn't matter how many picks you have. It depends on your quarterback rating against yourself, your quarterback rating as far as how many times does the quarterback throw to them and how well does it work out. It doesn't work out well when you throw it to Ramsey or Jahir Alexander's side. They're always locking down top receivers day in and day out. I'm going to add to that. There's two types of corners. There's corners teams don't even throw against because they're that good. And there's corners that get thrown to, and then they'll make an occasional play. Like Marcus Mark Peters. Up. You, man, you stole him. Marcus Peters, greatest he gets, example. He'll give up 80 yards, and then he'll make a pick six, and it's like, well, that's a net positive, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, exactly. Those are the two best corners. That's not my type. That's not my type of corner. But I'm just saying those are the types of corners out yeah. there. Uh, I'm going to go to the safeties. I got Jamal Adams. And Tyron Matthew. Wow, you got Jamal Adams, huh? I know you hate him. I know you hate him in coverage. I don't know why. He's been pretty good in coverage. I didn't feel like a lot of the coverage stuff was him. I thought it was Seattle. And he had nine and a half sacks. He he was the best player on Seattle's defense. I went with Jamal Adams. And Tyron Matthew, he was a ball hawk. He's the heart and soul of the defense on the Chiefs. I think without him and Chris Jones, catastrophically bad. I feel it. I, I This is where we got to change. My first safety, Minka Fitzpatrick. I feel like it's even more drastically worse if he goes out. That secondary is done. He's been great for them since day fair one. Point. That is a very fair point. Yeah, th- he's been great since day one. A lot of people really question that first round draft pick uh, for him. I was about to say, I thought we were going to. That boy was selling, I thought. Yeah. But damn, he. He almost won defensive player. Of the, he went from a bust to defensive player of the year in three weeks. Yeah, that that was a great trade for Pittsburgh. A lot of people were scratching their head about that one. He's amazing. I love Minka Fitzpatrick. He really transforms their defense. Uh, the other safety I have is Buda Baker. Buda Baker, I know he fell off a little bit at the end of the year, but he was amazing. He's the backbone of that you defense. You can't give someone all pro when they get hawked running back a pick six by DK Metcalf. <laughs> it's DK. I'm sorry. It's DK. Oh, my, ain't Donkey Kong. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm, that is not a valid reason. I'm just joking. Buda Baker is a hell of a player, but I get it. I get it. Uh, who's your flex defensive back? I went with Xavier Howard. He had 10 picks. He wasn't, like, shut down in coverage, but, man, 10 interceptions. Jeez, that's crazy. I picked Jamal Adams just as my flex. I would love to have him on this defense. Then why are you giving me shit for taking him first team? I just don't think he was the best safety. I just don't think he was the best safety. Whatever, man. You you a hater. I'm not hating. He wasn't wasn't better than than Fitzpatrick and Buda Baker. That's it. Just giving him shit because he low-key an edge rusher. We don't know, though. (laughs) So who was your kicker and punter? It's got to be Tucker. Yeah. He's the best. It's not even yeah. close. Look, listen, we're not going to get into a discussion about kickers and punters, but what would you give up for Justin Tucker? Like a third round pick? I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind at all. Second? No. Don't, third, doesn't the third Raiders got a thing for drafting punter? Doesn't the Raiders have a thing for drafting special teams in the first round? <laughs> they do. Once every couple years? They do. Who, uh, who, who's your returner? I got Jakeem Grant. Jakeem Grant, really? Yeah, I mean, dude, what happened in the days of like Devin Hester's and stuff? Remember when there was actually like amazing kick returners? Yeah, those days are over. A lot of part part of the reason why is because I say the NFL. No, well, NFL was like no more. It's more of the wedges. You you can't have three man or more than yeah. you can't have no wedges no more. 
So that you can have like what a two one two man. I don't one? even remember think the you can have that like five anymore. dudes. I don't even think you can have that. Five guys <laughs> trying to kill people. Exactly. Um, my return guy was uh, C Flash P, aka Cordell Patterson. I don't even think it's a debate. Kicker Justin Tucker. Your punter was what Johnny Hecker. Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah. Not even close. Those are the two best guys. Let's move on to the second team. QB one. Obviously, if I didn't have Aaron Rodgers. It's Patrick Mahomes. He's second team for me. He's the second best quarterback in the league right now. It's no debate. I just went Aaron Rodgers because I gave Pat Mahomes first team. I know the reason is kind of weird, but I mean, I'm not going to explain it. You can be second team, all NBA, all pro and win the MVP. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, there's no rules against if that. If this happens... I'm going to come on the podcast and be talking so much shit. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, running back one. Who was it? You mean running back two? <laughs> Loki? The second team all pro? Yeah, but who's, who's your who's your one? Nah, I got you. I got Dalvin Cook. It was, running backs were thin this year, man. Dalvin Cook was close for me. I picked Nick Chubb. I know people are going to say he was hurt a lot what? of games. What? I'm, I'm going Drake? with Nick Chubb. Oh my God, Chubb, who played ten games, yeah, in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Nick no, Chubb. He I, was amazing. I if he played sixteen, I was gonna get him in there, but I just thought he didn't play enough. I feel you. So let's go to. I feel like if you pick Nick Chubb, like Kareem Hunt, you get like an honorable mention just because they're both so yeah, good. Yeah, we'll we'll go over the the just misses for us at the end, but. Who who was your receiver? Justin Jefferson. Wow. And DK. DK. Oh my. So you don't That's have like DeAndre Hopkins DK's... on your list. Uh I mean I still got a flex. He might sneak in. Oh, I forgot about your flex. No, it's Tyree Kill. Yeah, D Hop ain't oh, naked. My. Sorry, bro. Why you gotta tease Sorry, me like bro. that? <laughs> Oof. Sorry, man. I wanted to pick you. You were next guy up. That's crazy. I don't. I disagree with that, man. I you're crazy for not having. You him. catch one hell mary. You catch one hell it mary. It wasn't bro. just that though. He was good the whole he year. He had a good year. I agree. But you can't give DK some love and Justin Jefferson some love. Justin Jefferson, he had an amazing year. You're a rookie. You ain't supposed to be good. Yeah, but come on, dude. Both of them. I feel like I feel like they all go hand in hand. I'm gonna give you mine real quick. My two are Hopkins and A.J. Brown. Okay? You picked A.J. I picked Brown? AJ are you Brown. giving me shit? I'm sorry. Come AJ on. Brown. Look, I put A.J. Brown in the How tier. How you pick him over D.K.? I put A.J. in the Brown with D.K. and Justin Jefferson. It was between those three guys. And a little bit of Keenan Allen. Okay? I did consider Keenan Allen. Bro, if you got to be taken off the field so your quarterback can throw to some different people. You don't deserve to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. AJ Brown was really good this year. He he's so he. I agree. I agree. He's he's go really go good ahead. with the ball with the ball in his hands. He kind of reminds me a little bit of Debo Samuel in him. How he turns into a running back. He's literally slower DK Metcalf. Really quick, who do you know who coached Ole Miss when both of them were there? DK and AJ Brown. Who? I don't know. I'm asking. I don't know because that guy should be fired. How the hell do you have both those guys? <laughs> well, and you're not good. DK did get hurt. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. Like you got both these dudes on the team. Be throwing go routes, <laughs> boy. Every play. Yeah, a big a big part of the reason why was I, DK had a something with his neck. I think with, with the injury, he had surgery or something. But uh, that's that's crazy. That that's I, I'm curious to see what people think about you not having DeAndre Hopkins in in the All Pro. And even people with Bro, me just wait you hear the think t- A.J. Brown is trash, huh? so we'll see. No, A.J. Brown's not trash. He's good. He's just not as good as D.K. Yeah. or Jefferson. But look, tell me, you want me to give you my tight end yeah. first? Or you, I got Zach Ertz, man. Shut the fuck up. No, I'm up. just playing. <laughs> I got Darren Waller. I'm about to slap you, silly. <laughs> no, I got Darren Waller, man. Yeah, D. Wall, that's my boy. It wasn't Wall close. Street. Look, I feel like there's three tight ends in the class. Kittle, Kels, and Waller. And then it's everyone else. Okay, I'll be the first to admit. 
Darren Waller had an amazing year. But let's remember, George Kittle didn't play a lot of games. He was hurt this year. If George Kittle was healthy, yeah, that's, yeah, I'm 100%. picking Kittle. I love Darren Waller. Well, no, I'm, you can't. You can't say that though. I don't think you can say that because if Kittle was healthy, but Darren Waller, Darren Waller had a hell of a year. He did. Like I don't think you can count on like Kittle having the same record breaking year. It'll be good. It's a good argument. It's a good argument. But I'll put faith in Kittle and just even the games that he's played in when he was healthy. He was amazing. He he's great, man. George Kittle's a really good tight end. He's he's there with agree, with, agree. with Kelsey. Agree. I think it's those three guys that are like the three best though, and then it's everybody yeah. else. Like I don't, they're not even close. The next three guys below. Well, let's go on to the flex. I got Tyree Kill. Okay, you already made the case for me. Cheat code. Yeah, that's crazy that he's um, second team, but uh, it's hard to pick a lot of these guys. A lot of guys miss out. My flex is Kamara. I I believe he was second okay. team. Okay, yeah. I get he it. He was great. Uh, just want to get into these just misses. I was just going over them. Justin Jefferson, he was – it was so hard. Jefferson and DK and Keenan Allen, those those were the guys that were considered. Well, how about how about give some love to people who weren't on either list? I feel like Deshaun Watson like almost got a yeah, spot. Josh Allen. And Josh Allen. Yeah, like man, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, we can't put quarterbacks on, but like, you guys were right there. And and I know a lot of people are gonna say this. You had him on the list. It was hard for me to not to ha- not to have him on there. Dalvin Cook had an amazing year. It was hard for me to to not put Dalvin Cook on her. I'm with you, dude, 100. percent And I wanted to put Marcus May on the second team, but. <laughs> It's better safe. Let's wait. I like Marcus May. He's good. Your def- Look, I have a feeling your defense is going to be all over the place for this second team. But let's let's. What's on Marcus May? He's good, <sighs> bro. He's not all pro good though. That's why I didn't put him on. But I'm saying he's like he's next guy <laughs> no. up. What? Well, all right, we'll, we'll get into that edge. later. Let's, let me, let's get let these me give you that. Give me your edges. Give me no. Your edges. We, let's get the lineman. We forgot the lineman. Don't forget the lineman, dog. Look, I got Trent Williams. I got Laramie Tunsil. Laramie Tunsil. Uh, okay. I got Bakhtiari. Look, you had Teron Armstead, but you I had I had Teron Armstead, but you pressured me out of what? it. What? I, I wussed out. <laughs> he's so good. You made the case for him, but now when I want to do it, he's bad. <laughs> so Whatever. you had Teron Trent Armstead Williams. first. I did, but I'm switching it up. Trent Williams. You talked me out okay. of it. Okay. Yeah, the, I think Trent Williams is amazing. I made the case earlier, but I have Bakhtiari. Great left tackle. He he deserves it, whether it's first or second team. My next tackle was Jack Conklin. Mm, that's a good one. That's crazy. He kind of had that first year where he was all pro, fell off. People didn't know if they could trust him, and I have no problem with you picking him. I thought about him. Yeah, and uh, my guards were Elton Jenkins and Wyatt Teller. Ooh, that's a good one. I think Wyatt Teller, he came on a little too late in the year for me. I went with Ali Marpet and Brandon Sheriff. Oh, Brandon Sheriff, yeah, he he was he was considered. Another guy that was considered for guard was Zach Martin. If he would have played, yeah, yeah if he would have played more hurt. than ten games, I would have gave it to him. He was still good in those ten games that he played. Do we have the same center? I got Rodney Hudson. I gave I gave the Raiders two like two guys right now. It was tough. I was trying to find someone else than Rodney Hudson, but I'm telling you, man, it's thin. It's maybe thin. a guy like Ryan Jensen, but he has too many dumb penalties for me. Yeah, Ryan Jensen. Another one was um, Frank Ragno from the Lions. I almost picked him. Yeah, I was thinking maybe some Mitch Morse, but I didn't think he was good enough. Um, I'm trying to think who else, man. It's just thin. It's I was gonna pick Kelsey, but man, he. We were so bad this year. I couldn't give it to him. Yeah, and he was playing hurt the whole year. Yeah, Rodney Hudson, one of the best communicators I've seen at center, next to probably like Alex Mack. But he he's great. Watch, rewatch that Raiders and Chiefs game, the second game, and just hear a lot of the calls that Rodney Hudson does with Derek Carr, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But let's move on to the defense. For my edge, go ahead. For my edge, I have Chase Young. And Khalil Mack. I have slightly different edge rushers. 
I got Brian Burns. <laughs> I realize how it sounds coming out, but let me make my case. Got Brian Burns. I got Zadarius Smith, too. Brian fucking Burns, bro. Brian Boyne. What the hell is wrong with you, bro? Nothing. He's Put good. Case. I want to hear he plays this. For I want to hear why Brian Burns. He had nine sacks. Is better than Khalil Mack. He had a, he's not better. He just had a better year. Statistically, Khalil Mack was banged up. If Khalil Mack's healthy, I'm picking Khalil Mack. But he wasn't healthy in some parts of the year. Brian Burns had nine sacks. He was the best player on the Panthers' D-line. That's why I went with him. So we might as well put all the guys with stats just in this. No, it's just more about the stats. He was disruptive, too. He was good. Just because you don't watch Brian Burns, I watch don't be Brian, mad at me. I like the Panthers' defense. Jeremy you just Jim, don't Brian like athletic Burns? pass rushers. You don't like athletic Sh- pass rushers. You like Cleveland He's Farrell and shit. That's not my fault. That's all right. That trick's good. Look, talk to me when the guy's a complete player and can stop the run, too. Go ahead and gain some pounds a little bit more, Brian Burns. Hey, what's wrong with Von Miller? Is something wrong with Von Miller? Von Miller got some weight on him, and he can actually stop the ah, run decently. Come on. Don't, Don't now compare you Von Miller to Brian Burns. I just see that first step. You're, <laughs> you're tripping, dog. You should be knocked over <laughs> the head for that. How are you going to compare Von Miller to Brian Burns? That's two different classes. I'm just saying. You come out, you got that first step. I'm just making my case. Come on. We got to start speeding Look, through something. Look, comment section. Go on. Go ahead and tear Max a new one for that one, dog. That's an L. That's an L, bro. Panther fans, defend me with your life. <laughs> Look, I All I right. picked Mac. I picked Mac. No, it's not because yeah, he, we know. Yeah, he shut played up, for the Raiders. Up. It's know. not because he was we a Raider. Know. He had he still had a good year. He was fine. Nothing. Yeah, he didn't get the stats, but he still got pressures. That is just just as good as sacks. <laughs> He's fine. He's still. One of the best edge edge defenders against the run. He's good. All right. He still deserves it. I I don't hate Khalil Mack. I'm wearing my 52 Mack jersey when the Saints <laughs> play the Bears. I just want to preference that. And Zadarius Smith, I like me some Zadarius Smith. Since he was in Baltimore, he had a good year statistically. He was the best player on the second best player. Let me rephrase. I forgot about Jair. Second best player, best player in the D-line for the Packers. I like him a lot. He's good against the run and the he pass. He was good. I'm shocked he didn't go with Chase Young. I went with Chase Young. I wanted to. I wanted to, but that D line's so good, man. You know, I I wanted to like reward that whole D line, but I just couldn't. Yeah. I gave I gave Chase Young a Pro Bowl. There you go. Put that in your <laughs> pipe and smoke it. So that matters, right? Yeah. Let Let's move on to interior guys. My two interior guys: Chris Jones and Kenny Clark. Kenny Clark. Okay, so you picked one Packer D lineman. Okay, that's the one you went yeah. with. No problem with that. I felt like someone from the Packers D line out of those two guys was gonna make it. Uh, this might shock you. I had no one from the Raiders, no one from the Eagles. <laughs> Shocker. I went with Cameron Hayward and Leonard Williams. Oh man, Leonard Williams. Wow. So I wanted Cameron. So Hayward many deserving so bad. guys. So many deserving guys. Like, dude, I would have picked Vita Vea if he was healthy. Yeah, Vita Vea was another one. Uh, Grady Jarrett. What about Bud Dupree for the edge? I can. We know we kind of skipped him. Yeah, Bud Dupree too. Bud Dupree was a oh, man. He got hurt too. Yo, it was kind of. <laughs> do you know Bud Dupree's real first name? What? Alvin. <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks Dupree. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it was it was hard picking the second team. There's a lot of guys left off, but I went with Kenny Clark and Chris Jones. Look, Chris Jones. There's one reason why I didn't put him first team. Let me tell you why. Max knows this. I don't like one trick ponies. He's a one trick pony, bro. He can only pass rush. He does it so amazing. He does it so well. People forget about his run defense. He's just not good against the run. He's he's average. And it's just it, it amazes me that he's that good pass rushing wise, but that that bad and mediocre in the in the run game. I just do you think he's better or worse at the like against the rush than someone like Fletcher Cox or Cameron Hayward. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel like his over he's too like he's over eager. He just wants to shoot the gap. He's like, all right, quarterback, quarterback. I'm with you that. 
Let's go to the linebackers. I'm going to start. I got Darius Leonard, Darius Leonard, and Levante David. Yeah, Levante David, man, he just missed my list. I went with Bobby Wagner and Eric Kendricks, man. Eric Kendricks has been great this oh, year. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wanted to give it to him. He was the next guy up for me. You want to go to corners? Yeah, I had Xavier Howard and Marlon Humphrey. I went with Marlon Humphrey and James Bradbury. Man. Baby Norman. He had a good year for the Giants. Who, who, he was, who really was your flex real quick? Uh, I went J.C. Jackson. J.C. Jackson. Okay, I, I went um, James Bradbury, so I still had him. Oh, okay. Okay, I was going to say you left him off completely, but no, you didn't. That's good. So, I mean, there wasn't, like, a great number of corners, but I feel like, like, was there any corners you left off? I almost wanted to put Xavier Rhodes a little bit but and Tredavious White, but I felt like they both didn't have as good of years as the other guys. No, not really. Uh, Marlon Humphreys, the whole forced fumbles, and even even him in coverage. Oh, my god! Even him in coverage, yeah. he's still Eight good. Eight forced fumbles. That's insane. Yeah, and then Xavier Howard, 10 picks. That was great. James Bradbury had some amazing stats with um with passer rating against him. He's really good. I don't think he's he's let go more than one twenty plus yard gains on him. So he he's been fantastic this year. Um another guy that you had, JC Jackson. Is it just because he had all the picks? A lot of picks and I just thought that I should, probably should have went with Gilmore, but he got hurt, and that's why I didn't go with him. Yeah, Gilmore wasn't even when he was. I healthy. know it was late in the year too. Even when he was healthy, I, just I don't thought think Gilmore kind of lost well. a step. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. And uh, safeties, I had Minka this one, and I had Jordan Poyer for the Bills. Jordan Poyer, I really like Jordan Poyer. Yeah, it was, I really, it like was him. close. I had Jordan Poyer um, for my just missed guys. My two safeties were Tyron Matthew and Jesse Bates. The third from the Bengals. Jesse Bates is good, man. It just sucks the Bengals season ended with Joe Burrow, and they never get no love because they're Cincinnati. Uh, special teams end with Harrison Butker and Michael Dixon, and my returner was Cordero Patterson. Okay. Uh, my kicker was Jason Saunders. Punter was Jake Bailey, and my returner was Andre Roberts. <laughs> Surprisingly, Andre Roberts leads the league in – Kick return yards. <laughs> Jeez, what a what a stat right I there. Know. And guys that just missed it. Who guys that just missed it was Justin Simmons. Uh John Johnson had a really good year. Yeah, I was gonna go with those. Guys. Adrian Amos those good was ones. pretty good. Mm-hmm. I I like Darnell Sav Darnell Savage too, but he came on towards the later part of the year. Uh who's the GM for this team? My GM would probably be Brandon Bean. That's a good one for Buffalo, right? He got Stephon Diggs. Yeah, he got Stephon Diggs. He's been building through the draft. He got your boy Josh Allen. He's seen the light. Yes, sir. I went with Chris Ballard. That's all. Oh, made the man, trade for the DeForest Buckner. Mm-hmm. Made the trade for DeForest Buckner. Got Phillip Rivers drafted. Jonathan Taylor, Michael Pittman. Not. I just think he's done a hell of a job. Not to mention all the cap space that they have. Yeah, they somehow still have like sixty million dollars. Like low key, shoot that to the Eagles so we can get like <laughs> net even. Oh man, we want to thank you guys for listening. We want to thank all the support we've been getting lately. We're almost at three hundred followers on Instagram. Maybe whoever's not following on Instagram, maybe be our three hundred uh, followers. So there's that. We're on all streaming platforms, all the major ones: Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We're even on YouTube. Go ahead and try to subscribe, like the video. Smash that yeah, like smash button. It. The way the Bears are going <laughs> to smash Stop. Drew Brees Sunday <laughs> afternoon and break his little noodle arm. Oh, man. Don't forget to five-star rate us, write a review about our podcast. It helps us out, man. It really does. Um, we're just trying to grow. We're trying to grind. We're trying to get bigger and make more content for you guys. And that is at Max and Juan Cast. We're also, like I said, on Instagram and Twitter. We're always posting daily. You can find all of our links in Instagram also. That is Max underscore Juan Cast. Thank you guys for listening to this episode. I know it's a long one, but hey, there's six NFL games. Usually there's only four. So more football, more content. Who doesn't love it? We love it. 
I definitely love it. And with that said, I'm out, bro. The Bears are going to lose, all right? I'm out. That's the last thing I'm going to say. You know what? I'm not even going to dignify that with the response, except you got to risk it for the Trubisky. <laughs> Air Trubisky. Give him a, get, make him worth 23 so he looks even better. All right, y'all. I'm out, Yo. bro. I got faith. 